Hello, ninjas and income poops. My name is TV Sky, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, where, as I said, I've spent some time off uh, screen, as it were, getting my a hold of a few adamant bangles, three of them to be exact, which are, they are mostly useless, honestly, because they only have two materia slots, and their magic defense is pretty weak, but there are a few certain circumstances under which they can actually be quite worth it one of which we are about to experience. So, as you can see from the world map, if you look um, at the peninsula that we're on right now, the little, uh, the, the long-ass island chain we've got here, there is one town way up north on this island. Unfortunately, the beach down here is the closest place we can land in order to try and get to it. So we're going to head up into the mountains. Wait, 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 wait! What? Has something happened? I happen to know a little bit about this area. It gets pretty rough up ahead. We should prepare. Really? Well, I don't trust you. I think you're just trying to deceive us all again. No, 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 no! It's really tough ahead and... Here he comes! Seize him! Not Shinra. Uh, hey, wait, this isn't him. These guys are... Yuffie, tell me you didn't. I didn't know! I didn't know! This one has nothing to do with me! This one? Did you just say this one? So you were up to something. No, um... What, what should we do? Yeah, uh, throw him in. Don't think, just do it. Now here's where I'm gonna get to see... I'm going to be able to deal with these guys. Elite guards. Right, okay. That went well. Hmm. Cloud all of a sudden can't use any of his attacks. That's strange. I wonder if something's going on. Tifa doesn't have most of her spells anymore. That is weird. And she also can't steal or do anything else. How unusual. What's going on here? Something's wrong! My, my materia, it's all gone! Yo, where's Yuffie? We've been tricked! She did it again! I'll never forgive her! She wanted our materia right from the word go! She won't get away with this. I'm pretty sure she ran north. Let's go after her. So, yeah. Pretty much... All of our materia is gone. And we're not gonna get it back until we get it back from Yuffie, which is why the Adaman Bangle is useful for this particular section of the game, because, well, we don't need materia slots right now. Now, I think she's actually supposed to steal all of your materia, so I don't know why I have those few little pieces left. Unusual, but certainly welcome. I'm okay with having a few pieces of materia left, because it opens up a few options in combat. So anyway, this section now is gonna suck. It's just gonna suck, because I have to run over land across these bridges, all the way to the north until I get to the town where Yuffie has run away to. And if I get into any random encounters, uh, it's gonna suck. Oh, right, I need to put Cloud in the front row again. He doesn't have the long range materia anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh well, do it after the fight. Hey, the fire leveled up. And this is why, by the way, um, you don't want to come here unless you are appropriately leveled to deal with the enemies in this area. Because if you're underleveled and all of a sudden you don't have any of your materia, well, suffice it to say the battles here can be a little bit of a challenge. Went the wrong way somewhere. You can't get to that beach, by the way, with the tiny Bronco, because uh, it's it's surrounded by deep water. Yeah, not much point using spells. Not with Tifa, anyway. Uh, oh well, gave me my limit breaks. Oh no, stop it! Like I said, these fights, like, if I wasn't as high level as I am... Like, three of those guys using Bolt, sort of, in succession will just take you out. You could have left me like a restore materia, Yuffie. God damn it. That Thunderbird horn is good, though. And I like the X-Potions as well. Not bad drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how many are alive after she's done with them. Might want to save that limit break for a later fight. And again, if I didn't have um, the Adamant Bangles, I would be taking a lot more damage from all the physical attacks here. Because you don't have to come here. Like, everything we're doing right now with Yuffie and this whole side quest thing, it's all optional. You can do it much later in the game if you want to. Uh, but I don't want to do it much later in the game. I want to do it now. I also want to find the way to get... Ugh, again. My memory betrays me. Do I have to climb down over the other side of that bridge? Is that it? Yeah, I have to climb down. And this is, again, like, the area is intentionally designed like this to make sure that you have to spend quite a lot of time fighting monsters without any of your materia, and it's really annoying. Okay, rending light on the bird. Anytime, thank you. They gain a ton of evasion when they fly, those bastards. Stop it! I don't have any multi-healing items. But you can tell how 
Like, again, I think she's supposed to steal all of your materia, so I don't know why she left me with any. But you can tell how, if you have no materia whatsoever, those beetles especially are just a massive pain in the ass. I'm glad I've got a lot of high potions, though. Okay. Making moves. I think we're getting there. It's gonna be a bit easier on the return trip when we have, you know, our frickin' materia. Really hope I'm not gonna regret this, but I think I have the tools to deal with the stuff that's gonna be happening, I'm pretty sure. I'm deciding to trust myself on that. And if not, it's gonna be fun to watch me struggle and fail. Welcome to Wutai. Oh! Now, you may remember the name Wutai, because that is the country that Shinra once went to war with. The war in which Aerith's father died. Or not, uh, well, not Aerith's father, but Aerith's mother, Elmira, her husband. Who wasn't Aerith's father, but who would have been her adoptive father. He died. Elmira's husband died in this war. And this is also the war um, where Sephiroth became a great war hero. The life of man flows like water. It source the ocean of life. A source to which it must return. This is the historical town Wutai. Please enjoy the unusual sights it has to offer. So, as you can see, Wutai is patterned very strongly after China and Japan, and sort of generally speaking, the East. That's not an accident. Sorry, but our stock is completely sold out at the moment. Uh, oh, oh, what, what, what are those, you ask? Oh, oh no, those are uh, uh, samples, yes. They're samples. Come back later, okay? I'm sorry, you see... Uh, no, forget it. Stop by again later. Yeah, the shops won't sell to me for some reason. Hey, look who's here. You! What are you doing here? Never mind that. Looks like fate has brought us together again. Get on your knees! Dinner and a movie first, lady. Elena, shut up, yeah. Reno? My mate, why do we come all the way out here in the middle of nowhere? We're on vacation. We're trying to forget about work. Exactly. You're going to ruin it for us. But, 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 but. Even the booze will go sour. Sorry. Yeah, the Turks as ever. Drink up, rude. How long have we been a team, eh? Being a Turk's tough at times, but after all said and done, I'm glad to be one. And I gotta meet a bunch of weird meet a bunch of weirdos like you. <laughs> Looks like it's your lucky day. Now get out of my sight. Next time we meet, I won't be so forgiving. To the Turks, to Reno. Cheers. Turk work ethic as always. Anyway, um, hello, welcome. Are you traveling too? Well, just relax and make sure yourselves at home. Wu Tai relies on tourists like you to get by these days. Do 
remember that. Anyway, let's find Yuffie, shall we? That huge statue on the mountain over there is the Shao. I heard you can climb all the way to the top, but it's dangerous. Be real careful if you try that. A girl with materia? Hmm, no, no one's climbed the Shao for some time now. You know, I've been hearing these weird rumbling sounds coming from inside the materia store. Uh, let's start by using a tent. It's not going to be important now, but it might be important later. And save. I think this is the materia store. My memory's a little bit shoddy. Uh, but yeah. I'm sorry, I know the signs outside says materia, but there's almost none left in Wutai. This is just a backwoods village. The Shinra company, uh, well, you know. If we had a lot of materia, I think Wutai could flourish like before. Remember that as well. We've got all sorts here. See anything you like? Oh, I'm tempted towards the chocobo feather, but... These are the ones that I actually want right now. Because Thundaga and Firaga to all targets is pretty powerful. And the Chocobo Feather will have to wait. Obtained MP Absorb Materia. MP Absorb Materia was stolen. <laughs> Hello, Yuffie. Okay, where did she go then? Don't think she went to the weapon shop. Did she go inside the bar? Hey, did you know there used to be a water god in Wutai? They said the god was like a huge snake. We live in a world of Mako now, so not many people believe in that stuff anymore. Still, it's said, said that the water god scales and a materia containing the god's power can be found in Wutai and the lands beyond. That would be Leviathan, by the way. Where the hell did she go? I don't remember. Lord God Otis resides in the mountain up ahead. Mansion up ahead. He was once an incredibly powerful man, but now all he does is sleep. What? Where's Yuffie? Huh. She's a real character, that one. She'll barge into other people's uninvited, houses uninvited and everything. Other times, she'll wait in the shadows. She's still a child, after all. Good luck finding her. Let's see, she won't go there. I don't think. This is just me trying to remember where the hell she is. here? Oh no, Gramps. More weirdos. Not her again, at least, but they're just as bad. Her, huh? Well, well, long time no see. What have you been up to? Uh, uh, what, what was your name again? No, Gramps, this isn't anyone you know. It's just some stranger who barged into our house. Do something, Gramps. There's a weird girl in our house. She's hiding over there. Hello, Yuffie. How exciting! A friend of my grandson's? No, Gramps, these guys are creepy. They're rummaging all over the place. And now I think, because this is the one location I remember. Yeah, there she is. Hello. can't get away this time, Yuffie. Okay, I know. I was wrong. You win. I'll give you back your materia. Hmm, couple of Shinra soldiers.
So, our reports were right. You are here on vacation. We finally found him, but we're gonna need the Turk's assistance. Ah, uh, what a drag. Uh, I'm sorry? We're on vacation and can't babysit you right now, okay? We heard you were on vacation, but... If you know, then get lost, yeah. I'm sobering, I'm just looking at you. But I thought headquarters gave you the same orders to look for him. All right, fine. We'll get him without any help from the Turks. You'll see. And don't think headquarters isn't going to hear about this. Reno, was that a good idea? I mean, is that the way a professional, a Turk would behave? Elena, don't misunderstand. Those who sacrifice everything for their job aren't pros. Just fools. Rude? Well, I don't buy that. I'm leaving. Relax, she's not a child. Let her have her own way. I know, I know. The material is in a safe place. Follow me. This would be Yuffie's house, then. Yep. I've been hearing ever since I was little that Wutai was a lot more bustling and powerful before I was born. And now to look at it. Just another tourist trap. We were defeated in the war and found peace, but something was lost in the process. Now Wutai is... That's why, if I had lots of materia, I know I could... Sorry, Yuffie, but I don't care about the history of Wutai or your feelings. You've got our materia and we want it back. If you give it to us now, we'll drop the whole thing. I know. I know that as well as anyone. That, that switch on the lever on the left, the materia is there. Ain't nothing we can do about it. No, the materia. It doesn't really matter which one you flip. It's still gonna... The cage is gonna come down. But what the hell's going on? <laughs> you should listen when others are talking. The materia is mine. Tough luck. If I'd flipped the left switch, it would also have come down with the... Uh... Cage. You want your materia? Then go find it yourself. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you're looking for the materia. Remember that you've got to steal it. <laughs> steal? Get it? See ya! So, the reason Wu Tai is like this, let's talk to this lady again. The life of man flows like water, its source and ocean of life. This is the historical town Wu Tai. Please enjoy the unusual sights it has to offer. Wu Tai was defeated in the war by Shinra and effectively colonized and turned into a tourist trap. And all of its resources, its materia, everything that gave it power enough to potentially challenge a company like Shinra, was extracted and taken away. I don't know if you know much about the histories of China and Japan, but, uh, yeah. If I remember right, there's a way to get up into that crawl space up there, but can't do it right now. Wu Tai was broken and colonized, and as people say, it was a completely pointless war. It was a war with Wu, Wu Tai over nothing except the fact that, well, that it was a threat to Shinra's power. Okay, right, no, I can't shop yet. And so it was turned into this, just a tourist trap. A colonized tourist trap, an attraction for rich Westerners to come to and spend their money, rather than a nation of full dignity. So yeah, 
Wutai is one of the heavier metaphors of the game. I can't remember if Yuffie's up here. I don't think she is. No, actually. No, she's not. And that whole thing... But there is random encounters up here. Ugh. And that whole history, like that whole concept... Oh, they're not done with it. They're going to extend that one just one step further. No, attack cloud. It also explains why Yuffie doesn't really feel any shame about stealing from, well, from people who aren't from Wutai, because that's very much what was done to her people. <laughs> I finally find a new chicky. Oh, two for one, in fact. Two? Hey, hey, let go of me! You're gonna regret this! <laughs> Don Corneo is here, and he just uh, kidnapped a 16-year-old girl from Wutai to, well, to use as a sex slave. Like I said, this game takes the particular metaphor one step further, because this too is very much what was done to Asia by the colonialist powers. Over the course of world history, there's a lot of women in Korea, China, Vietnam, Japan, who were forced into prostitution by colonialist powers. So, like I said, they are taking it one step further. CHARGE! And it turns out Shinra were looking for him as well, which doesn't do us very much good. In fact, mostly it just causes us trouble. Please don't fall asleep. Ugh. Oh no, Tifa's gonna miss. She's affected with darkness right now. Yeah. Broken. Abused. Having all its resources extracted and then... It's young girls and women turned into prostitute for Western perverts who think that their money can buy them access to everything. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is definitely not a political game at all. No politics in here. No sorry. Just good old-fashioned video games that aren't about anything. And I'll keep, I mean, I'll go back to that well as often as it takes, because, God, it pisses me off. Like, when, when shitty gamers are like, Oh, games are so political nowadays. Uh, not like back in the good old days. That's what they sound like, fucking gargling their own shit out of their mouths. Like, uh, like when I think of a game like Final Fantasy VII, which had so much on its mind, 
and then there's a segment of shitty gamers who are just like, oh, it's only about, it's not politics. Just go get fucked. Like, just go get fucked. Let's see, that's the thing I picked up. What the hell was that? That was, I don't remember. This is not that one. It was, ah, right. It was the one for red. I think I'm fine, aren't I? Yeah. Elena. <laughs> Corneo's still only good at making a run for it, eh? Elena. Let's go, Rude. We'll give him a taste of what the Turks are all about. Then again, he has Elena. That could make things a little tricky, yeah? So, yeah. Fine. Corneo has kidnapped Yuffie, too. Without her, we won't get our materia back. Don't misunderstand. We're not joining forces. Let's just think of it as staying out of each other's way, yeah? I'm cool with that. It'll be a sad day when we cooperate with the Turks. Now, where the heck did Corneo run off to? <laughs> I know him always too well. Think about it. What place sticks out the most here in Wutai? And now, we go climb the mountain. Hang on. Okay, my roommate sent me a text letting me know that I'm a little loud right now, so I'm going to tone it down a tiny bit. Finally got here. We're going to split into two groups. Do what it takes, but don't endanger Elena. And don't worry, we don't do anything to harm Yuffie or whatever she's called. For now, that is. If I remember right, those little things have a really annoying attack. Like, it means immediately when I saw them, I had like a fear association. Like, oh, god damn it, they're trouble. But I can't remember what it is that they do. Is it confusion? Oh no, they cause anger. Right. Which is very annoying when I'm relying on my physical attacks. Because it makes my physical attacks less accurate. <laughs> Let's find this guy. Thought you'd pick up his trace here too, huh? Looks like we were way off. There's no chance he made it this far. That's for Sid. Yeah, no way through the flames there. There he is. Let me go! <laughs> Scrumptious delicious! I think I found my new hobby! Which girl will it be? <laughs> this one? H hey, I'm a Turk! You'll never get away with this! Or maybe this one? Oh, God! 
If I knew this was going to happen, I would have taken rope escape training more seriously. <laughs> I've made my choice. My companion for tonight shall be... This spunky girl. Again, Yuffie is 16. Just letting you know that. Grossness. Don't mess with me, old man. You don't even have any materia. Ooh, I love it when they play hard to get. Oh, yeah. That's as far as you go. No, <laughs> what? Ugh, cloud. <laughs> Long time no see. I never forget you. That fall from the trap really hurt. Well, if it isn't Midgar's low-life hyena. Silence! None of you can fathom how I've suffered since then. It's a long story, but... We don't want to hear it. Just get them down already. Oh, you guys are serious. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around either. Why'd you have to kill my cute little Apsu? Maybe you should have some fun with my new pet. At least then you might stay out of my way so I can find a bride. Rapsu! Come here, boy! And this is where you can get completely fucked if you don't have the... stats or items to deal with this, but... Because I have a space-time bomb... And I believe, yes, he's vulnerable to it. I can take away half of his health instantly. And then I can start hitting him with these items I picked up. Hmm. Not really doing what I want him to do. I only need to damage him for about 3,000. But he's got Aroga, which hurts a lot. Like a lot. He's a miracle chief as alive. Which is why it's dangerous to go and do this side quest now. Because as you can see, he's got a ton of resistances. So I'm just hoping that that will do. Yes! Nice. If I hadn't had my gravity item, by the way, this would have been twice as long of a battle. And if he'd used a Roga just a couple of times, like my entire team could be wiped by it. I do get 20,000 gil for it. Wait, 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 just wait a second. Shut up. Just listen, it won't take long. Why do you think a scoundrel like me would swallow his pride and plead for his life? Ugh, <sighs> because he's sure to win. <laughs> Bingo! Uh -huh. I'm so gonna lose it. Once I push this button, they'll fall head over heels and we'll have squashed tomatoes. Damn it. Coward! Don't dare move that filthy hand of yours. I think I'll be taking the other girl as well. <laughs> Looks like I'll have the last laugh! No, that will be us, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> uh, what? The, 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 the Turks! You signed your own death warrant when you leaked that information. We're going to take care of you. Personally. <laughs> Have it your way, but they'll be coming with me. Ugh. Good timing, Rude. Down to business. Alright, Corneo. This'll be over real quick, so listen up. 
Why do you think we went to the trouble of teaming up with those guys to find you, eh? Because we're ready to die? Because we're sure to win? Or because we're clueless? Two! Two! Number two! Nope. They were all wrong. Wait! Wait! wait stop! The correct answer was... Because it's our job. But thanks! I thought you'd never come! Elena, don't be so presumptuous. You're a Turk. You want us, yeah? Yes, sir! Never thought we'd be saved by the likes of you. It's me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. Was that the company? Yep. They want us to find Cloud in the gang. Are we on? Nah, we're off duty today. I hate to interrupt, but get me down! <sighs> Don Corneo. God, what a slimy villain. Yeah, perfect, just as it was before. Hey, you put them back all over the place. Ah, uh, oh, come on, what's the big deal? Don't be so picky. Well, that sure was a close one, huh? Yeah, normally I would have kicked your butts. Bam, 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 bam. That corneo guy is unbelievable. I'd rather have to deal with my dad than him. Oh, and those Turk guys. I guess they aren't all bad, right? At least you got the material back safe and sound. Now let's get back to our journey with a hub and a... Hey, wait! Oh, all right, you can have this one back too. Here, here, look, look! Come on, please! Well, I don't care what you have to say. I'm coming with you. I won't mess up next time. And that was the Wu Tai side quest. Like I said, like Don, Cor Don Corneo. Yeah, the game has something on its mind with Wu Tai and its place in the world. But anyway, as you can see, she completely just <laughs> put everything back completely randomly. gonna leave that alone for now. I'm terribly sorry about before. Yuffie stopped me from selling anything to you. But you've worked things out now, correct? Well, then buy away. Hello and welcome. By the way, um, there's a decent chance that uh, Sephiroth got his weapon, the Masamune, from here as well. Now... Because I completed this side quest a little bit earlier than you're normally, air quotes, supposed to. There's some pretty powerful weapons here that for you to get. Diamond Knuckle. And Chakram. And the Randall to start with. And I'm finally going to upgrade from a double growth weapon to the normal ones. There we go. And now I also have full access to... There's certain other side quests in Wutai as well. Um, some battle challenges that you can do. They're really tough um, at this point in the game. So it's not, it's not necessarily a good idea. Um, but you can do them. If you want to. 
I don't, though. What I want to do is I want to save the game and come back for another episode later on down the line. And uh, while I'm off screen, I'm gonna go get a hold of a bunch of money, basically, and stock up on the items that I need from various places. And when we come back, hopefully I will have a somewhat more powerfully kitted out team. But if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Final Fantasy VII with me, and I really hope I haven't massively overpowered myself here, then you can hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons down below. All of that stuff is very helpful because it helps YouTube channels grow and stay alive, and numbers going up is the only thing that YouTube really cares about. Outside of that, if you want to support the channel more directly, I have Patreon, I have some tip jars, and I have a merchandise store. If you want to avail yourself of any of those, I would be very grateful for the help. And if not, that's completely okay. I'm just happy that you've been watching Final Fantasy VII with me. Besides that, the only thing that's really left to say is thank you very much for watching. <laughs>